Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to Leslie Ann Sparkle, of course me, my YouTube channel in my little bit of my little corner of YouTube and my little bit of England. So what a beautiful day, absolutely glorious. I kind of dress for like a chillier day today, but it's beautiful out there. Um, so today we went to a new garden centre. So the garden centre is called Alva Valley. I just think it's called Alva Valley Garden Centre. Garden yeah, it's, um, it's in our area. It's new to our area. I think it only opened on the 11th of April. It's beautiful. It's absolutely huge as well. Um, I've got a little bit of footage from inside of the garden centre as well. Now, um, I haven't completely finished it. It was supposed to be open, I think, Christmas last year. Um, but because of all the delays, because of COVID, etc., etc., it's been obviously, you know, everything's been delayed like most things. Um, so they have opened. They have tons of stock, but they still haven't got everything. So they're still waiting for stock to come in. Um, it's absolutely lovely. I was thrilled to bits with it. Um, they've got a nice cafe there. The food looks lovely. We didn't have anything to eat or drink there. Um, they've got a pavers shoe shop in there and they've got a class clothing. I think it's mostly ladies, I think, clothing shop in there as well. Um, as I say, I've done a little bit of footage. So I will include that in this video. Um, we did actually buy ourselves each bought a pair of sensible sandals for walking in yeah you know what i'm like if you've been with me a while i've had plenty of falls broken my humorous and all the rest of it that it's time to go into sensible shoes really so we both need them so yeah we did fork out for those um so we've got those in papers i'll show those to you and we also did order an arbor is it called an arbor arbor, arbor. an arbor for the garden um so we're just waiting for that to be delivered but i will show you a picture of that as well um but yeah i'll show you the footage of the garden center here we go
Okay, then we went into Aldi's. We needed some water and we needed some bread flour. They didn't have any of the strong white bread flour in them. It's the cheapest I've seen it, 59p, and it's still 59p in there. Um, but I made a loaf today out of that new bread maker that we've got, and it was it's okay. But in all honesty, I didn't think it would turn out to be perfect because I only had maybe 400 grams of the strong white bread flour and yeah I needed 600 so I just whacked another 200 to make it up to the 600 with self raising flour so I kind of knew it wouldn't work properly you know um but you know I was impatient I wanted to give it a go so we went to Aldi's picked up some more bread flour they didn't have the white but I did pick up a whole meal um, and we picked up some water, some ham and bits, bread. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, oh, we got a doormat and some dog treats from and some soil as well from the garden centre. So I'll show you all of that. Uh, now. We picked up these dog treats. I haven't seen these before. They're called Zoon Meze Menu Nutty Chicken Bites. Oh, yeah. Um, there isn't any nasties in it. There's no rawhide or anything like that. Um, and that's what they look like. And they've already had one and of course they loved it. Um, if you could hear any dragon noise, Chris dragging, not a dragon, um, but Chris is moving some of the garden furniture because we've got, you know, we ordered the new um, sort of gazebo to go outside because we just couldn't get a replacement top for the one that we had that ripped in the storms. Um, so I ended up buying another one instead. And um, that's being delivered today. So he's kind of moving stuff so that probably tomorrow we can start to put that together. Um, and then we need to decide where we're gonna put this sort of, what do they call it, arbor, arbor, arbor. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting that. And then that's gonna be in the garden for a while because we've spent a lot of money, really. I mean, you know, we haven't been away anywhere for a long time, as most of us haven't, you know. So we've sort of been putting money away to do the garden up a little bit, paint the house, as you know. Um, so we've got two things left to do on the house. We've got to have the, uh, the path down out the front and then just um, the driveway tidied up a little bit and then some new stones to be delivered to put on that. Then that is all going to be done. Um, just a few bits and bobs out in the back garden. Um, oh, and the other thing we're having done, the fence are included in that price that we had when we had the new fence down out the front. Um, at the back of our house where our garage is, we've got like a, it's not an alleyway, it's like a right of way because our, our garage, you, could, you go down, access that to get into your garage at the back of the house and so do the people on the other side. Um, so the fence sort of goes along like that and then it kind of goes, sort of stops there and then you've got your garage door. But we don't access it that way at all. We don't use it for putting the car in. Um, but we find that a lot of people put rubbish outside. Yes, they, they dump rubbish outside and it's so annoying because we have to clean it up. Um, the council won't take it if it's on your property. So the fencer is going to come back and put new fencing across the back and it's going to go right across in front of the garage. So they can't dump any rubbish there anymore because it will then be in the access road. So it solves that little problem, you know. Um, and we're gonna put a new gate in there. I mean, we have got a gate there, but we're gonna put a new one in, because obviously that's a lot to change. Right. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want this? Do you want this? No, no, Teddy's, no, Teddy's first. He asked first. Good boy, there you go. I'll see, sit. Good girl. Ah, no snatching. Sit. Gentle. There. There we go. Right, in here I've got, in this bag here, there's six bottles of water, still water. 
And up here, another six bottles of water. Okay, we've got this from the, the garden centre. I think Chris is just putting it all in. Um, so you buy the mat separately, as you probably know anyway. And then they do all the different infill bits. Um, there was cats. Unfortunately, they didn't have any with dogs on. Otherwise, I probably would have been tempted um, to get one with a dog. But they would probably. Yeah, yeah, probably I would have. Um, but they had this one that says welcome, and we both like this one. So <coughs> this is going to go in the porch. Now. Yeah, now. This is going to pop that out there now. And then the one that's out there will go out there on the decking. Um, so we're going to do that now. So I'll show that to you in a moment. And there we've got the, the new doormat. Looks really nice, doesn't it? I'm really pleased with that one. And of course, I got these the other week. But yeah, I'm really, really liking it. All right, so we've moved the other uh, doormat from the front to the back to the deck in. Um, as you can see, Chris is starting to get stuff ready to put the gazebo up together. Um, pop some hanging baskets up today as well. So I've done that. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit chaotic at the moment. So this is what my little loaf has turned out like. Um, it looks absolutely fine, to be honest. It got a, a hard bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not perfect, obviously, because you know, I had the wrong wrong amount of flour, so but I was so impatient. I to be honest, I looked at the flour and thought, oh yeah, I've easily got six hundred grams in there, but I didn't. Um Chris will tell you I'm always wrong with sizing, which actually can go work in his favour sometimes. <laughs> oh, and I'm always saying, Can you move that bit of furniture? It will fit there. No, it won't, love. It will, Chris, it will fit there. It won't. Oh, well, can you just try? Yes, but it won't fit. Then I'm like, oh, right, oh, no, okay. So, you know, he's moved it, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm not the best when it comes to judging sizes um, and distances. So, yeah, that's the loaf anyway. So now let's get on to a bit of the haul. Right, so as you know, I've got tomatoes that I've planted from seed in my little greenhouse, my little plastic greenhouse, which I'm still absolutely loving. Um, but they are, whoops, they're about that big, I suppose, now. So I'm gonna plant them out individually now, but I needed some more dirt to do it with, some more compost, so we picked that up, as I say. Um, and then I saw these and thought, do you know what, I'm just gonna get my little because I'm doing these in the hanging baskets, so I want to get them underway. So I thought I'll just buy three. Um, so here I've got the oh, stick my goggles on. Um, this is the Elsa Craig tomato. Uh, this one is Sun Gold tomato, yellow one. And then this one is the Mountain Pride tomato. So I've got three of those, so I'm gonna pop those into the hanger baskets a bit later on. A loaf of bread, this is the finished bakery one. Uh, this is just the white tiger loaf. So I'm gonna make us a sandwich now for lunch. It's, it's like 10 to three and we haven't had any lunch yet, so. Um, we picked up we picked up three of these, the lactose-free semi-skimmed milk. Cheapest place we've seen, and what were these? 80 something, weren't they? 84 or something like 84. Like yeah, so picked up three of these, and the date is really good. It's July, so really good. All right, picked up some more ham. So, this is for our sandwich. So, this is just the dry cured ham, British cooked ham, family pack, uh, 14 slices of ham. So, we're gonna have that, and some sweet pickle in his army. This is the flour that we got. So it's the 
um, is by the pantry and it's the strong wholemeal bread flour. So I'm gonna be using this one next time, say until I can get a white one. Um, but 59p is an absolute bargain. And then picked up some mini Malta Mowbray pork pies, pack of six of those. And picked up some sugar-free sweets for the car. These are 59p a box. So I haven't had these ones before, so they sound very interesting. Um, the creamy cappuccino ones. And then the creamy strawberry. We've had those, but thought the cappuccino ones look a bit different, right? So that was everything that we actually got in Aldi's. And uh, let's talk sensible shoes, shall we? So they're just these kind of, what do they call these? They're kind of like, are they like surfer style or something like that? I don't know. But they're very, they remind me of like, um, sort of hippie sort of style. But they're sensible. They've got a really, really soft padded, comfortable footbed there. And then everywhere else is velcroed so that you can just adjust it as you want to, you know, to, to sort of suit your foot as to if it swells or not. Um, and they're in a lovely suede and they've got lovely padding. Um, so yeah, Chris got these ones. And these are mine. I like them because of the colour as well. I think it's pretty neutral, go with most things. Um, they've got a little bit of a wedge to them. And again, like Chris says, they've got such a comfortable, comfortable, um, footbed and again they've got the adjustable at the back with the velcro and the straps here and here um yeah really really nice they are um yeah i'll pop them on later if i remember to let you see what they look like but these i mean they weren't cheap they weren't mega expensive but they weren't cheap but you know if you need to look after your feet right uh, these were actually recommended retail price of £60 and they were down to £42.99. So um, they are all leather and beautifully squidgy, squidgy, beautifully soft, as you can see. And Chris's were um, originally recommended retail anyway, uh, £50 down to £34.99. So, yeah. We treated ourselves there. Sometimes you need to just have really good footwear, right? Um, yeah, especially if you trip a lot, like like I do. And this is the loaf. I've already shown you the loaf, but we've had a slice between us just to see what it was like. And that's what the bake's like. It's really nice, actually. So despite the fact it didn't come out as well as we'd hoped, um, purely my fault because of the flour situation, um, it actually was very, very tasty. Good. So I hope you've enjoyed this little day in my life again. I've been doing quite a lot of those lately because I think, you know, unless you're going out vlogging all the time, it's pretty much samey samey when you're at home. Um, so sometimes you're sharing a day in the life can be quite interesting and I hope today is a little bit more interesting because we went to that really lovely garden centre you know down here um, and of course you know the shoes if you're in the market for looking for comfortable shoes then maybe you'd be interested in going onto the pavers website because I do actually have a website as well so yeah they are really 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 good in there you know and if you wear them around the house and not outside you can send them back you can take them back as well if you don't get on with them so it's a pretty good service all round so i'm going to love you and leave you and make some lunch and i'll talk to you in my next video if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and notification bell of course so you press that and then you'll be told when i've done my new uploads so i'll talk to you in the next video my lovelies take care everyone won't you enjoy the weather whilst it's beautiful bye for now